Now it's really exciting time in immunology because of technologies that enable addressing questions that were previously unaddressable. My name is Alexander Rudansky. I am an immunologist. I was born in Moscow in 1956. It was growing during Khrushchev thaw, where older generations were scared by what they lived through. But it was also the time of excitement about science, a time of nuclear physics, astronomy, space flights, and then biology became fashion. The scientific community in Soviet Union was historically isolated with limited exposure to other ideas and discoveries in immunology. In February 1990, we came with three kids to United States. Three weeks after we arrived, our first child was born. We discovered daily life pleasures and stresses, and also very exciting science. I came to become a postdoctoral fellow at Yale. In 1992, I was offered a faculty position at the University of Washington. There was a young, new immunology department. Our studies focused largely on biology of regulatory T cells. Regulatory T cells represent a specialized subset of T lymphocytes whose function is to keep in check uh, responses of other types of cells in the immune system. We had a study that regulatory T cells may represent a dedicated cell type. We became interested in searching for a gene that would account for their function and for their development. It was a series of exciting findings, just one after another. Suddenly, experiments are working, and the results were beyond our expectations. Our most significant paper was published in Nature Immunology. Our work demonstrated that the Fox P3 gene is required for development of regulatory T cells. That led to explosion of studies in the lab and in other labs of this gene of regulatory T cells and their biology. Currently, there is a great deal of interest in targeting regulatory T cells as a novel way of cancer immunotherapy. In 2008, we moved to New York to Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. There are physician scientists working in the lab, and our ability to connect basic research to practical outcomes was one of the motivations behind our move. We discover recently that microbial community is also affected by T cells. There is a great hope for new avenues for treatment of diverse range of severe inflammatory diseases. I fell in love with the field of immunology when I was a student, and I still remain in love with this field. My hope for the future is that the work that we have done will have an impact and to make discoveries that move this field forward. <laughs>